morning ladies and gentlemen it's a lovely cold damp Sunday morning um, as you can see the trailer is finished uh, I didn't get any filming done yesterday because I wasn't here Tim had to finish this on his own and uh, he didn't have the camera with him so unfortunately he didn't film anything but uh, as you can see, spare wheel fitted, everything's on, bunks are on, mud guards are on, cross sections are on, all the keel rollers are on. She's ready to, uh, she's ready to get the boat back on. And, uh, I'll be pleased about that because there's nothing worse than seeing a boat lying on the deck. It's horrible. So uh, we'll get the we'll try and get the boat back up onto the new trailer and uh, fire up the old uh, Mercedes. This hasn't been started up for a couple of weeks. There you go. She don't have any trouble starting. Not like the uh, Sprinter. That was a bugger, wasn't it, in the winter?
plenty of water coming out of it. We've had a lot of rain and it's obviously had nowhere to go. The bungs were out, but uh, the angle it was on, the water was just sitting in the boat. So. I'm going to wait for this to drain out so it's lighter. Here's another angle. You can see that we've got the lines, got those bunks perfectly positioned. So that's a result. Because you never know exactly until you actually get the boat on there. So I mean, they're adjustable up and down, but they're not adjustable sideways. So. The water's still running out the back, so we'll give that a minute. Right, so, now some of you will know, but the reason why we put this tarp across the um, wire rope was as a energy suppressant. So if it snapped, if it ripped out of the eye on the hull, um, it wouldn't come flying back and hit me in the face. Water's all but stopped now, so we'll carry on getting her on the trailer. So I swapped the hook over from the bottom bow eye to the top one. Right, so she's located on there. Let's just hope at the back end that it's on the right position. Nope. Shit. Hmm. Oh well. That's not right. Obviously the back of the transom we want on here. So it's obviously on the back of the transom. We want the back of the transom here over this so it's supported. to do well we need to adjust this we need to make this arm bigger or we'll move the whole thing uh, forward anyway 